I start crying too, it's just gonna be more painful for Miki. Miki, it's okay. I'm your big sister. I'm here for you. I'm gonna take care of you, Miki. Don't worry. Even without mom and dad. So don't cry. Ah, I want mommy and daddy, Satsuki. I'm Satsuki. I'm 28 years old. Well, you just saw happen 10 years ago. My mom and dad passed away in a sudden accident. We had no other relatives who could take us in, so we lived on our own since then. We were able to keep my dad's house, so while it's been painful, we managed to get by until now. Hey, Satsuki, I'm back. Hi, Miki, were you out all night again? Yeah, what of it? I was having fun. You really should get a job. You need to think about your future. I'll be fine. After all, you said that you take care of me for mom and dad, right? I love you so much, Satsuki. Miki. <sighs> Man, all nighters are tough. I'm gonna go take a nap. Miki, wait. <sighs> Miki's been like this ever since she dropped out of college. No, she was the same when she was still going to college. I wanted her to go to college to have a better life. So after I graduated from high school, I went right to work to earn money for her tuition. But that was all for nothing. She didn't even last a full year. One day. Catch you later, Satsuki. I'm gonna pull another all-nighter at the club. Miki. Hmm, what do you want, Satsuki? Are you gonna tell me not to go out again? I'll come home earlier than usual, so don't worry about me. I should be back by 8 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, I had something else to talk to you about today. What is it? I think I'm going to get married. What did you say? I said I think I'm going to get married. You're gonna get married? Yeah. Wait, what about me? If you get married, I'll have to live all by myself, won't I? You lied! You lied to me! You said you would take care of me! Miki, I guess maybe I won't get married after all. Yes! I knew I could count on you, Satsuki! Thanks, Satsuki! You're the best! Okay, see you in the morning! Yeah. The other day, my boyfriend Haruki proposed to me. I love him so much, and I want to marry him, but I'm so concerned about Miki that I feel like I shouldn't. If I get married, what would happen to her? What should I do about Miki? What do I need to do to humiliate them? Huh? Hmm, what do you want? Did, did she just say she was going to humiliate someone? I think that I should probably avoid this person. Uh, no, nothing. Excuse me. Wait a second. Can I help you? Oh no, she's looking right at me. I was trying to avoid talking to her. Are you trying to make someone else happy? Um, uh, yeah? Give it up, you can't. W what's that supposed to mean? Do I know you? Who do you think you are? And what were you saying about humiliating someone? That's really creepy. Humiliation is a deep and profound thing. My humiliation brings happiness. You are making zero sense. Hmm, maybe you would understand if you saw it for yourself. Come with me. Where? Just come. Why would I? Five minutes later. We're here. Wait, what in the... Why did I follow you all the way out here? Because deep down, you yourself are desperate for humiliation. Oh, that makes sense. Wait, what am I saying? No, it doesn't. Look over there. What am I looking for? You'll know when you see it. Hey, you three. Hi, Miss Ami. What's up? Hello. Huh? Aren't you gonna go humiliate Miss Subaki today? I have other business today. Other business? Here, it's a cake from the Satsuki Confectionery. Oh no! If you eat that, you'll get fatter. So Momo, saying fatter implies she's already fat. You can tell by the look on her face she wasn't happy about that. Curse you, Samomo. Anyway, here, eat it. Thanks, Miss Ami. What's... huh? What's the matter, Reen? There's only two pieces of cake. What? 
It's all right. I don't need any cake. I can eat as much as I want at home. Really? Well, uh, my papa buys me cake a lot, so... Here's what we'll do. Do you have any idea, Samomo? Samomo, what are you doing? I cut it into three equal pieces. I want to eat cake together. I don't want anyone to get left out. That's a good idea, Samomo. Food tastes better when you eat together with friends. Yeah, I think so too. Way to go, Samomo. Why are you showing me this? I told you before, this is my humiliation. Oh, it is? But wait, this still doesn't make any sense. What part of this is humiliation? All they did was split up the cake. Exactly. Exactly? These three kids get it. Happiness that's built upon someone being left out isn't happiness at all. It's not enough for other people to be happy. You need to be happy too. If someone tried to hog all the cake for themselves, that wouldn't make them happy either. It might taste good for a moment, but they'll soon overeat and get a stomach ache. What are you trying to tell me? You may not understand it right now. Okay, what is up with her? Hey, you three. Sorry, there was one more piece here. You can each have your own slice. Thanks, Miss Ami, but I don't think I can eat a whole piece by myself. Huh? You need to have some too, so let's cut it into five equal pieces. Five pieces? Oh, that's okay, I'm... I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> you three came up with a better humiliation than ever I could. I'm impressed. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, but I think that was a compliment. Miss Ami says weird stuff all the time, doesn't she? Yeah, even more than you, Samomo. They left me no choice, so I went ahead and ate the cake with them. What is going on? Wow, this cake is incredible. Bye-bye, Miss Ami. Bye-bye, Miss Atsuki. Farewell. See you later, alligator. See you. Goodbye. Do you understand yet? I think maybe I understand a little bit more. I can tell by the look on your face that you get it now. I guess so. A few days later. Miki, we need to talk. What do you want? I'm exhausted. Oh, I also ran out of money, so give me some more. I've decided to get married after all. Why? You can't! You promised, Satsuki! You said you would take care of me! I'm sorry. Meh, whatever, I guess. You can get married, that's fine. Really? Do you mean it? Yeah, sure, why not? Wow. It's not like my lifestyle will change at all if Sati gets married. It might even be better. <laughs> well, that went better than expected. We plan the wedding for the 10th of next month. Is that all right? You're my only family left, Miki, so I'd really like you to come. Sure thing, I'll keep my schedule clear for you. I spent the next month planning my wedding, and today is the big day. Man, this place is the best. I can drink and dance all day. This must be heaven. They always have the best parties here, and the drinks are delicious. You got that right? Oh yeah, hey, Miki. Hmm, what's up? Didn't you say you had something important to do today? Nothing that's more important than a party. Partying is my life. It's what I live for. <laughs> yes, the spirit. You're awesome, Miki. I know, right? Huh? My phone's ringing. Ugh, what does Satsuki want now? What's up, girl? You coming to the party? Are you drunk? Drunk? Pfft, I'm just a little buzzed. The party's just getting started. So, like, what do you want? I'm kind of busy right now. Today's my wedding, Miki. Oh. What's up, Miki? Today was my sister's wedding. <laughs> you forgot about your sister's wedding? That's nuts. It's whatever. I'll tell her I'm not feeling well and get her to postpone the wedding. She's super duper protective of me. She'll do what I say. Like I said, parties are more important than stupid weddings. I can hear you, you know. Yeah, man, you're crazy, Miki. Crazy awesome. Hey, Satsuki, you there? Sorry, I'm super tired today. Be a good sister and reschedule the wedding for me, okay? What do you mean, big sister? I don't have a sister. Satsuki, what do you mean? Is that supposed to be a joke? 
I'm your little sister, you're my big sister. You're gonna take care of me even after you get married, right? No, you're not my sister, and I'm kicking you out of the house after I get married. Hey, you can't do that! Do you remember that we're not biological sisters? Yeah, of course I do. What of it? We're both children from our parents' previous marriages. I'm dad's daughter, you're mom's daughter. Our parents never legally adopted us, so officially, we're not sisters. And since the house we're living in belonged to my dad, as his sole heir, the house belongs to me. I'm going to live there with Haruki, so you need to leave. Satsuki, you can't do this! So what if we're not blood relatives? You can't abandon me like this! I can and I will. You said you'd take care of me! Are you gonna break your promise? How could you be so cruel? I finally realized that sacrificing my own happiness and Haruki's to try and make you happy wasn't working. You're not happy at all. I'm sorry, Miki. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Goodbye, Miki. Take care of yourself. Satsuki! Whoa, what happened? What am I gonna do? My sister is abandoning me. Somebody help me. Yikes, what a buzzkill. I'm gonna go. You're really bringing down the mood here, Miki. I'ma go find somewhere else to party. No, no, why? Everyone is turning their backs on me. I'll never forgive her for this. Never! You lied to me, Satsuki. You never cared about me at all. Not for a single second. Are you sure about that? What that? Who are you? She gave up her dreams and quit college to work so that you would be able to chase your dreams. She worked day and night, dressed in cheap clothes, and spent all her spare time on you. She worked herself to the bone so that you would never want for anything. She even went to your school events, parent-teacher conferences. Anytime you needed her, she was always there for you. After all the time, money, and effort she poured into you, are you still going to stand there and say she never cared about you? Who do you think you are? Why are you doing this to me? Shut up! Leave me alone! Think hard, Miki. You're still young. You still have a chance to turn your life around. I kicked Miki out of the house and cut off contact with her. Was this the right choice? Was I being heartless? Three years later, I have a baby, and I'm enjoying my life with my family. But I still think about Miki a lot, even after all this time. I wonder what she's doing right now. <sighs> hey, would you mind doing something for me? But what about Mio? Don't worry, I'll look after her. It'll be fine. Okay, fine then. What did you need me to do? I left my wallet on the park bench. Could you go and look for me? Me? Can't you do that yourself? Please, Satsuki! You're way better at finding stuff than I am! What are you talking about? I have no idea why you asked me to do this, but I ended up going to the park like you said. There it is. You better take me out to dinner for this. Alright, guess I'll head home now. Hello? Oh, hello. Hmm? Do I know this person? Do you remember me? I'm sorry, I'm not sure. It's me, Satsuki. What? Miki? You look so different. Why? What are you doing here? Maybe she's here to yell at me. I was somewhat harsh on her. Here. What's this? Money? Yeah, it's the money you spent on my college tuition. Why are you giving this to me? I thought I should return this after how terrible I was to you. You worked so hard to send me to college, and I wasted it all. Miki, I'm so sorry for what I did to you, Satsuki. I was a terrible little sister. You never got mad at me for anything I did. You said that you would always take care of me no matter what, and I took advantage of you. I'm so, so sorry. I put you through so much. I'm glad you understand. I'm sorry too, Miki. I shouldn't have said you're not my sister. You will always be my little sister, Miki, no matter what. Satsuki. Miki. 
After that day, Miki stopped hanging out with her party friends and immediately looked for work. She found a job at an office in Tokyo. She said that she didn't come to see me sooner because she wanted to save up money to pay me back. She worked hard for three years in order to grant me peace of mind. I'm glad I gave her tough love back then. If I hadn't, she would have continued her downward spiral. I'm so grateful to Ami for opening my eyes. Actually, Miki said that when she was in the club, a purple-haired woman came to talk to her. Do you think maybe that woman was... I'm home. Did you make amends with Miki? Yeah, but let me ask you something. Do you set this up with Ami? <laughs> Looks like you finally caught on. I knew it! Yeah, I'm sorry for keeping it a secret for so long. Me and Amy were classmates in college. We met up at a class reunion and I told her about how you wouldn't accept my marriage proposal. Then she said, I owe you for helping me out in college. So to pay you back, I'm gonna humiliate you! Yeah, that sounds just like something she'd say. I wish I could say thank you to her. I wonder where she is. Right. I haven't seen her since then. But I bet she's out there somewhere, getting ready to humiliate someone else. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Ha ha ha! Today's the day when I will finally humiliate you, Tsubaki! Hachoo! Are you okay, Ami? Did you catch a cold? Someone must be talking about me. I highly doubt that on me. Anyway, how are you going to humiliate Tsubaki today? Today's humiliation is this! An alligator? It's just an alligator. It's not just any alligator. Actually, this alligator is... Oh, I got it. I know what this is. Is this a test of virtue? If someone with an impure heart puts their hand inside, their hand will be cut off! Or injected with a deadly poison! Or, or, or maybe we'll bite down and never let go! Uh, no, Tsubaki, that's the mouth of truth. Look, if you push on the tooth there... You're exactly right, Tsubaki! What? Isn't this exciting? Go ahead, put your hand inside! Tsubaki, don't! It's a trick! Wait, you're already doing it? Oh, great alligator! Gaze into my heart and see that it is pure! There is no impurity or falsehood within me! Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I did ignore my father's rules and ate ice cream at night in secret. Forgive me, great alligator! My, my hand! It's fine! I passed the alligator's test! Shoot, I forgot to take a picture! That was pretty cute, huh? Now it's your turn, Koharu! Oh, whatever. I guess I'll do it. Take this! Ouch! Ami, why did you do that? No, Koharu, your hand! Koharu! Oh, great alligator, I beg you! Return my friend's hand to her! Take my hand instead! Ami, don't say it. I know exactly what you're thinking. She's incredible. Great alligator, I beseech thee! 